Hi Libras, hope you're doing well so far today. I've gone ahead and laid out uh, three cards here. It's from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Yeah, I like it. Um, so that I could study on it for a bit and meditate over it. Um, first card's not for you. Okay. You can see here in this picture, uh, there's, you know, a fortune cookie in the middle. You really don't know what's going on, but you're, someone's playing a mental game with you. Mm -hmm. Mind games. And you might be involved in playing the mind games with this person now. Uh, so you're, it's a, it's a battle of strategy, a back and forth movement where one of you is, uh, may not be playing fair. Uh, there might be deceit involved. It, it goes both ways, but usually on this card, it's the other person that's trying to get the upper hand on you, Libra. So watch out if you're dealing with somebody with my, playing mind games with you. The next card is higher power, okay? Well, I'll let you look at it for a minute. If you can even see it, I don't have a monitor, so I don't even know if you can see it well or not. But this card's asking you to stay attached to your higher power. Whatever you believe in, that's going to be your priority to make your life happier. It also says that uh, there's a soulmate in your area, your, your realm, or or heading your way. Uh, stay attached to your spirituality and the love that you need and you're looking for will uh, come into your life. Next card here is milk and honey. Well, this is saying that you got it pretty darn good right now and you should be thankful for the things you have. Just right now, really enjoy your friends, your family, your loved ones, and appreciate it all. Um, if you stay in a, in a positive, high vibe, things will uh, come to you and you'll, you'll, you'll find abundance. That's what milk and honey is all about. Pleasure and abundance, love. Just sounds good, doesn't it? Milk and honey, yeah. Just appreciate what you have right now, okay? All right, so the main thing here is it looks like you got to stay spiritual and you got somebody playing mind games with you. Or trying to be strategic and getting the upper hand, okay? Yeah, we're going to work with this uh, Wisdom of the Oracle deck more later. I have to get more comfortable with it. I really like it. It's got good energy and beautiful pictures. The meanings of the cards are are good. They're they're understandable and easy to interpret. Going to use some more oracle cards here for a minute. Okay. There could be some hesitation on this person's part. You know, I think they want to come towards you, but for some reason they are, uh, yeah, they have trust issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're suffering from past heartbreak, so they have trust issues. And that's why they're being strategic. They don't want to get hurt. They're just giving you a little bit at a time, maybe. Test in the waters. This person is actually in water, if you can see that. They're hesitating. They don't want to come out of the water, really. They feel safe in there. They're deep in their emotions. Water symbolizes emotions. Okay. You don't want to get too serious, Libra. Stay in touch with your inner child, okay? Be playful. Enjoy what's going on. And 
Don't let this person get to you. Don't let this mind game work on you. Stay connected to spirit. And be prepared to receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, abundance. Yeah, it's your turn to receive, you know. If this person wasn't putting out enough emotion or you're, you were doing it all, the table's turn now. It's your turn to receive. The uh, higher power card here, too, is saying um, trust in your higher power to deliver what you've been asking for and what you want. And in this reading, you know, this is for singles who are searching for love or wanting to know what's going on in their love life. Uh, just know that uh, you're going to get what you've been asking for. What you have been praying for. Okay, let's get rolling. This person uh, that is playing chess with you here, mental game, they're worried about the outcome. That's why they're taking it so strategically, a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. They're very hesitant. They've been hurt in love, and they're just going to give you a little bit of, at a time because they're, they're just very confused. They, they're worried about how, how this is going to all turn out in the long run. Right now, Libra, you are full of potential. Your potential is unlimited. So don't let anything hold you down. That's why these cards are saying keep your, your energy positive. Be appreciative. Be thankful. You know, make sure that you, you take a second every day to connect with uh, spirit and um, tell the universe how grateful you are. It, it's... It just takes a few seconds to connect and do that. It's helpful. It will keep your life fulfilled. Yeah, this person feels like they might have to chase you now. Yeah. I think this person's about ready to let all this go and come chase after you. You might have chased them to start out with. Mm -hmm. You rejected this person, I believe. And now they're ready to chase you. Come after you. You have so much potential. You have abundance coming in. Let's hope they love you. Take a few more of these, and then we'll throw some tarot. These are oracle cards, too. The answer to the question that you've been answering, these cards are saying, is no. So whatever you've been a asking, the answer is no. Now, if you get together with this person, it could be in the winter time. Well, that's a year away. But it may take that long, them long enough to deal with this karmic partner. It looks as if you, if you do wait, you can hold it out, stay connected somehow. By next winter, you'll be nice and cozy and warm, living, living large and happily together, if that's what you want. Well, it's going to take a lot of patience dealing with this person. Because this person feels like home. You feel like home to each other. You have some sort of connection, a bond of some sort of warmth, happiness together. I'll take a few more. 
And today I feel like I could read cards forever. So I'm going to have to control my time here somehow. I never know if I'm going to do one for a half hour or an hour or more. It just, when the read's over, it's over. And this person could be taking a journal, you know. They might write down stuff or keep email, um, emails or you know, text. Keep them all. Just journalize the things. And if you've talked to this person who's known him for a long time, they could have a book on you this thick. Mm -hmm. And then they probably go back and read all the stuff that you said to them. Because you know. they're being very systematic. They want to make damn sure that they can trust you and that you're really into them before they give an inch here, it looks like. And all you can do is hang on to your spirituality. You know, try and stay happy. This person needs to just surrender. They're uptight. They've been holding a lot of things inside. They just need to let it all go and have trust in the, in the universe that they're going to be okay. They're paranoid a lot. They get really worried and like a worry wart. Yeah, the other cards show that too. Marriage. Oh, boy. Yeah. Because you feel so much like home. You're so warm and you're so comfortable to be around. They want to marry you. I want to show you a card here. Remember I said you'll connect with them next winter. Look at this card. If you can see it. I don't know if there's the right lighting or what. but It's a beautiful log cabin. Sitting in a gorgeous setting. You know, there's a lake or a river in front of it. All warm and cozy. Yeah. That's how they feel about you. In the long run, they want to end up with you. They want to marry you. They're working on it. But they're being very strategic now, aren't they? Okay. We better throw some tarot before I throw that whole deck. Okay. What's going on with this person? It's so up in Libra's energy. having sleepless nights. They're tired. They're worn out, miserable, up in their head. Can't sleep. Maybe even have nightmares. They're feeling guilty. Yeah. When the Nine of Swords in rever is reversed, it's like, to me, it's shame and, and guilt. So they're feeling, feeling embarrassed and shamed and anxious and all that. Poor thing. Uh-huh. They want to give you everything. They want to tell you the truth. They want to have an open and honest new beginning with you. Something beautiful. Something full of love. But they can't let go. They keep everything locked up inside. They just can't find it in their power to trust you enough to trust the situation or to trust themselves. They, they're confused and worrying. Yeah, they're just worrying themselves to death. Oh my gosh. You've got the Ace of Cups and then the Ace of Pentacles right after. This person wants to offer you, and the Ace of Pentacles is falling right on top of the marriage card. This person wants to offer you the world, Libra. They want a complete whole love. They, they want to give you all their love and they want to share all their material with you. They want to give you what they can. Oh my God, this person's really, really in love with you. Overwhelmed. You have taken over their emotions completely. 
I don't think they're used to it. They're used to keeping them, everything all locked up inside, bottled up. They don't, you know, come across as someone who is over emotional or even emotional at all. Maybe a little excitable or nervous person, but uh, they just they just want you. What can I say? You're their everything. You're the, you're the whole package to this person. And they're tormenting over it. They don't have the nerve to come forward and tell you. Oh, boy. The Nine of Swords in reverse. And then the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this person's going downhill. Getting worse by the minute. They're going to pop here pretty soon and ask the question or tell you how they feel. But they're scared. They feel trapped. They're trapped in a karmic relationship. They probably feel, they probably, well, I feel like they're feeling like they can't come out. They can't tell you the whole truth. They can't sur surrender to you now because they're trapped in this karmic relationship and they don't know how it's going to end up. They can't make any promises. They're trapped. They don't know what's going on. But they're just going to have they're just going to have to play it out however they're planning on playing it out, out here and then maybe when they get some truth, maybe when they get some conclusions, they'll be able to come forward. Right now they feel trapped and guilty. Guilty. They feel guilty and remorseful over something. Ooh. They feel guilty because they were dishonest with you. They don't know if you're going to accept this big cup of love and start a new beginning with them because they were um, greedy and de deceitful. They tried to con you in some way. They were the king of pentacles. They were only looking for money or some kind of self-gratification. King of pentacles will, when he's desperate, do almost anything for money. And they were in that kind of energy. Going around being the king of pentacles. Yeah. And they know that's messed up. They messed up the they, they, they went ahead and messed up the race of cups that they wanted so badly because they were being selfish. And they're going around being like a con artist. Yeah, playing mind games. You may not be the only one they play mind games with. This might be their nature. They might just be like a, you know, their character is that of a swindler of some sort, a con artist. Wow. That's a little heavy, you know. You know, my readings are a little on the drastic side, so you got to just take it with a grain of salt. It's not for everybody. Just take what applies to you and leave the rest. I'm just having fun up here reading cards. I get a real kick out of it. So I, I just say what the cards are telling me, and if it's not your story, it's not your story. But it's somebody's. Okay. What's with this king? This uh, ace of pentacles here, anyway. Oh, yeah. They're very driven. They feel that uh, they're being divinely pushed in your direction. They can't stop thinking about you. They're always on the back of their mind. They're always in the front of their mind, wherever but your eyes in your mind, right? They, they feel that this is a divine connection and they're being pushed towards you and they just want to come racing in. They don't want all this bullshit. It's all this stuff in their way. They don't want it. But you guys could be very different. Mm -hmm. You could see things through completely different lenses. So it's going to be important that 
both of you, if you come together, uh, learn how to cooperate, to meet each other halfway. Because I think, uh, I don't know, this person's got, you know, they're a gold digger. They got those kind of tendencies. They're in the material. They're headed your way. But you know what? They want to give. It doesn't look like they're, they want to take. It looks like they want to give. They want to, they want to share their money. You know, they might be like a hoarder. They might have like a whole bunch of money locked away or in stocks or something that they don't touch. And now they want to take this abundance. See, it's, there's the, uh, Ace of Pentacles there, see, with the chariot. And the way they're laid out here, cards have different meanings, with, however they're laid out with the other cards, but the way they're laid out here is they want to marry you. They want to take their abundance here. Everything that they've got, you know, that they've hoarded away, been stingy about, and they want to rush towards you and offer it to you because they're being divinely pushed in your direction. They feel they're meant to be with you. If there's anybody in the world out there they want to share their coins with, it's you, Libra. That's what that's telling me right there. They want to rush in, but they're stuck. You know, I'm thinking this person might be coming into some coins, or they got something stashed, or they got money. They might pretend like they don't have money, go around crying poor mouth, but or they could be have a a lack mentality where too much is never enough you know more 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 because going down the drain I'm insecure I, you know, I need more we're not going to make it that kind of thing but this person's making it real well looks like and they're ending up in your milk and honey uh, line over here of cards, marriage card, and a chaser, and be ready to receive, and all that, all that, in the home, home, sweet home, all that is in the future right here. So, very interesting. Okay, they're working up the strength. I think they got it. They're finding the strength. They're finding the strength. They know you're different. They know that they're a real character, a real, real piece of work. They know that. They know they're different. And, but they're working up the strength to come in and uh, wrestle this out with you. Watch out, though. There's no suggestion here that they've quit playing games. Or there's no suggestion here that they've actually surrendered. They might want to come in a little prematurely because they're just very anxious. Okay? They might not tell you the whole truth, but I think they will tell you some stuff that's true. I think they'll tell you how they feel about you. And they might, you know, they're going to tell you what they're going to do for you or what they can do for you. You know, they want to entice you. Mm-hmm. They're very charming. They're going to use their charisma on you. They're, all their skills of, of uh, you know, sedu of seduction, right? They're going to come in and they're going to cleverly, very strategically try and seduce you, okay? Seduce you to get you back into their energy or for them to get back into your... They're trying to get back into your energy, and they're very good at it because they're they're seductive. They're attractive. Okay. This person could already have money, like I say, socked away. I think they live a very comfortable life. I think this karmic that they're with 
has afforded them a very leisurely, comfortable life. This comic may have allowed this person to be freer than most people would be. This comic could be controllable. Like I mentioned earlier, they're with this person because this person could be docile and controllable. And, and, and this person allows your person to do just about any damn thing they want to do, including spend all their money. Because this person that you're dealing with at heart loves their independence. They're a free bird. They like to go out. They like to get a lot of attention. And they like to take their simple pleasures. This, this person could be more elegant. This person is coming out a little bit smarter and more elegant than in your other readings lately, Libra. You're getting deeper, that's why. This person could be well looked at in society. I mean, thought highly of. Or at least they... they make a wide presence or, you know, a colorful presence in the community of some sort. They could be egotistical and, and a little arrogant because they're so used to being spoiled. Okay. Of course, Everybody's reading is a little different. So I might do a reading, you know, a couple days ago that a little bit different story, and that's somebody's reading. This, now, this story is very similar, but, but different. This is somebody else's, some other Libra's reading. So when the stories change a little bit, and you go, hey, that isn't what you said last time, I'm not saying anything. I'm reading what the cards say, you know? No two people of you out there are exactly alike, so your stories are all a little bit different. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, they want to come running towards you. They're really excited to be with you. I think they miss you a lot. They're feeling guilty about the past. Probably making you wait. Maybe they've been lying to you. I don't know. I don't see any of that yet here. But they're holding back. They're not letting you go, though. Yeah. And they're they're doing something with their money. Maybe they're maybe they're kind of tight, and they, they don't want anybody to take them to the cleaners. So whoever they deal with, they want to make sure that person is really honest, so they're not after their money. What was that? Something fell out of the bar. Anyway, yeah, they're holding back, but they're not letting go. In fact, they're holding on to you tightly, but they're just not coming forward yet. <laughs> this poor person, boy, I wish they could either just shit or get off the pot, right? But they can't. They got problems. They, they got things they have to work through, for, through first. <laughs> Okay. They want to try and match your energy. Yeah. They know you vibe high, and they have to make sure that when they come to you that they match your energy. This person might pretend like, you know, find out what you like and what, you're like, what you do and your opinions and everything, and then they might start trying to be like you or say the things you want to hear. Well, they just might be trying to act like you, be like, be more like you, which is okay, you know. If you, it's like you shine out, and your your spirituality and everything, and your intuition and all that is is so powerful. This person can't help want to be like you. They're, they want to emulate you. They want to be up on your level. They want to live in the same energy as you do. 
You want to be your equal. But they can't. Not now. Not in this King of Pentacles uh, energy. They've, they're vibing low. All they're thinking about is you and money. Security. What are they going to choose? When are they going to choose? How are they going to choose? Just all that in their head. Okay. This person is the Queen of Wands. Yes, she is. She has money. She has power. Well, this could be a man, too. You know, these are females on the cards. If you're dealing with a female, okay. If you're dealing with a masculine, okay. Same difference. Just uh, switch the genders around. Same energy. Okay. This person's a queen of wands. Very attractive. Very active. Friendly, fun-loving, adventuresome, all these characteristics. Charming. Sweep you right off your feet. Yet they're kind of spoiled. They're get, used to getting what they want. They like attention, but they can be very mysterious. Yeah. They keep secrets. Oh, boy. Remember I said this person feels like they're being divinely pushed in your direction, even though they might not be spiritual at all? They know you are, though, that's for sure. But they've got this heavy force telling them that you're their soulmate. Yeah, they really enjoy being with you. and You've spent some wonderful, uh, memorable hours together. And uh, she, this person loves talking to you, and you love talking to them, too. They're, you really work each other up. Um, yeah, they'd like something lifelong. Yeah, they'd like a, something committed. Mm -hmm. Without you in their life, they feel like, you know, if they don't have you, something huge will be taken away. Right now, this person is thinking that you're, you're their soulmate. You're the person that they're meant to be with. Yeah, this Queen of Wands is looking back at the past, at what you guys did together, you know, whether you, uh, you know, were intimate together or just talked or however they knew you, they want it. They want it. They're dreamy about it. They also think that you'd be good for their future, that you'd be a good couple and you'd be able to create and have this wonderful bond and Anyway, that's what they're thinking, okay? You may be thinking of quite the opposite. Yeah, this person just doesn't want to give up, but they can't, you know. I can't change the card readings. I can't move it along. Life doesn't change one tarot reading from the next. It's... This person is stuck. They're just stuck. And we're going to be reading about this person until they get unstuck, right? We've got to find out what this person's doing because they're up in your energy and they won't let go. If you stay together, or if you separate for good, you've got to have some kind of con you know, conclusion. This person doesn't want no conclusion. They want you. Yeah, you're home to them. You're their salvation. Well, yeah. This person's stable. They're trying to get stable with their money. May not be quite stable right now. They're making some adjustments, or they don't feel stable. Yeah, they feel like they need to have a lot of money, have this huge thing, you know, a treasure chest or something to offer you before they come in. This 
maybe they're just so insecure they're just thinking of all these things they need to have things that they what they can do what they need to do to get back in your energy I don't know this person is confusing me yeah you're the third party well we know that we know they're dealing with a karmic and again I got a home card see this person feels that you are home to them they just want to kick up off their sh off their shoes kick their feet up in front of the fire get you naked and roll over that bare skin rug I'm gonna roll you all over that bare skin rug mix you a hot toddy and just love you up get all natural with you oh this person really needs to release they need to let everything go all this karma and, and uh, these sleepless nights all up in their head paranoid worrying about money constantly family problems they've lost their inner child they just They just want to let go of all this stuff. They really do. They want to surrender to the universe, but they can't. They're in a position where they just have to keep dealing and dealing with whatever they need to clear their path of. Okay. Yeah, trust issues. Well, we know what's going on here now. Huge trust issues. They don't understand that spirit is guiding, protecting this connection. You're connected with spirit. Spirit connected you with this person for a reason. Maybe to help this person start their healing. Maybe to be there for when this person changed their life and they needed somebody. But they're being protected too. They just either realize it or they don't. Right now it looks like they're so wrapped up in money and worrying about you that they might not even know that they're being protected by spirit. They might be disconnected. Again, <laughs> I just said they picture you at home, you know, by the fire on a bare skin rug rolling around, right, with you. Right on top of that came good sex. Oh boy. Yeah. You're very romantic, Libra. This person's romantic too. And they just they just want to eat you up. They want they just want to roll you all around on that bare skin rug, just like I said. They're very sexual. They know how to operate between the sheets. And you know what? So do you. So you make this really hot, fiery romance together. You're, uh, you're it's lustful. Lustful, but you know, you can't just have lust without love. Person loves you, they just can't admit it. They're working on it. They want to get you naked on that big furry rug. They do. And you're fascinated by them. No matter what this person's done to you, they're different. And you're fascinated by them. You still want to know what they're doing. You're still curious of what they're what they're up to what they feel, just everything about them. They see you moving on. Yeah, they're getting anxious. They're worried. They did something to hurt you in the past. And, you know, probably just being with this karmic threw a lot of energy out the window. Yeah, <laughs> best sex ever. 
oh my god if you haven't had sex with this person you better because uh you two the chemistry between you is the best nothing else like it no wonder this person doesn't want to let you go Naughty, naughty Libras. No, I'm just kidding. You know that. It's a sin. It's a universe, sin of the universe, to deny a Libran romance. It's part of that Venusian nature. You know, sex, romance, especially romance. That's a huge part of a Libran's uh, sexual experience. Well, got so many cards over here to experiment with. Let's just throw a few more. Patience. That's it, exactly. In a nutshell. If you're going to have to wait for a year or something, you know, it may not be that miserable if you're in, if you get in connection with them and you're talking to them all the time. But it doesn't look like you'll be able to come together till next winter. Um, you're going to have to have patience for that. Good things will come out of it. Yeah, like good sex, right? <laughs> yeah, you could be moving. Mm -hmm. Moving in with the this person actually into a different house or a different residence or just moving all together out of the state out of the country who knows but you could be living with this person by next winter whatever you want is what you're going to get this card is asking you to Ask the universe for whatever you want. You're not going to get it unless you ask for it. You just, you know, once in a while you stumble over something. You know, like a rock in the road, but that doesn't happen very often. If you want something from the universe and you feel your karma is good enough and you deserve it, ask them for it. Because you're going to get it. Exactly what you want. You know, people do a lot of asking, really. The problem is, they don't know how to ask for the right thing. They're always asking for something that is not vibing the highest in their life. You know, well, I want a, I want a new car. I, I need a new house. I, I want to look better. I want to, you know. First of all, show some appreciation to the universe. Give thanks, you know. And then learn to ask for the right thing, like, I need to spread more love. I want I want to bring in more love so that I can spread more love. You know, keep it in a keep your demands from the universe somewhere that's loving, warm, sharing, balanced. Don't make it a greedy thing, you know. Like a child talking to Santa Claus, that's not that's not how how you uh, operate with with your higher power, but you can admit, but you have to let your higher power know what you want. Okay. Yeah, you're being protected. I already said that. I've got a lot of reconfirmation cards here today. You're being protected. You and your loved ones. You're being guided and watched over by your higher power. You need to relax more. You need to unwind. Get out, get some fresh air. Start meditating more. Just relax and go out and have a drink with your friends. You know, talk to people. Breathe. Relax. Get out of your head. 
quit thinking about all this great sex. <laughs> And don't let your past hold you back, you know. You got abundance, you got bread and fruit and honey and whatever all that was up there. Bread and honey, I think, yeah. Milk and honey. You got all that milk and honey, you're plenty abundant, you got more coming, stay positive. Don't let problems from your past come to interfere with what you're doing now. Keep moving ahead. Keep your mind clear. Take time to breathe. Okay? Thanks for stopping by the old Swedes bungalow. We'll do this more later. Peace and love to you.